Okay, well, yeah, welcome to Blast Zone, boys. We're back, and uh, we're better than ever. On time, you know, uh, three shows, consistency is hitting different. It's amazing. Tony hasn't put a tweet out yet? No, he hasn't. I just had to turn off subs because <clears throat> Aquas uh, messed me up, bro. He hit me with the sub as soon as the stream started, so that joint was loud as Frame hell. One. Yep. Thank you, Aquas. I appreciate it. All right, let's throw up the tweet. Why am I so far over? Hmm? Oh, no. Oh, I um, don't know. Uh, let me just... Oh, I am so far over. What? I got it. I got you. I got you. Here you go. Okay. It's probably my fault. I don't know. Let me see how Phil's doing. Phil's right. There we go. Perfect. Good. All right, there we go. There we go. All right. <clears throat> anyway, welcome back uh, to Blastone. I'm TK, this is Coney, and this is EE, you know, the Blast Zone Trio. We are here yet again to do what you guys like uh, to see us do, talk, and then, of course, uh, ask, answer some of your wild Twitter questions. So, what's first on the docket, Coney? Uh, first up is about Sonic the Hedgehog, if you can believe it. Uh, <laughs> Sonic's won the big quarantine major this weekend, quarantine major one, over MK Leo, who uh, apparently isn't washed, which blows my mind, because we said... We definitely said two weeks ago that he was totally awful and he wouldn't be winning anything else for a very I long time. I was for certain he was washed two weeks ago. Yeah. Hot ass. Yeah, we said he was garbage. But, you know, he did amazing work, uh, got very good, and I think we're going to see some some great things from that young man once we uh, get out of quarantine. But Sonic's ended up winning the whole tournament. Um, pretty convincingly, if I'm being honest. Like, it, it, like, Leo looked good, but, like, Sonic's just always sort of looked a step ahead. I don't think he got a reset, so... Uh, and it made a lot of people mad. I know that Sonic has been banned at a couple online events now. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's anything of, like, big note or anything, but it's worth talking about, because, like, a lot of people are talking about how Sonic, like, ruins the game, especially online. It's bad for spectators, blah, blah, blah. Um, so that's the first thing. I mean... I don't know, dude. I feel like if you're a Sonic, you're a Sonic specialist. Like, we have Rat Sonics. Like, his name is Sonic. You know what I mean? These guys have been playing Sonic for a long time. And I don't think it's a problem if some of them start succeeding in a different world. You know? I that mean, was I, like... I agree. Go ahead. Actually, oh, go ahead. I was yeah. going to say, I was gonna say like, yeah, I agree with that. I mean, I, I completely understand, like, where the uh, where the frustration comes from for people. Because, again, you got a character if you're like fast like that, you just think he's always going to be attack, attack, attack. That's yeah. Definitely not the case. And, and I guess because, like, I, I think before it was an issue of, okay, well, if you don't like the character, you can kind of avoid the online events. But since the online events are all we have now, it's definitely more shoved in your face. And I guess that's kind of why people's frustration mounts, especially if they just have their mind geared towards hating that play style. And I'm not always a fan of it. Don't get it twisted. But, sure. Um, it's definitely seen a spike in just in just hatred yeah. as of late. So I kind of feel bad for the players at times. Um, but it's just kind of the nature of the beast. Yeah, I that's that's what I was saying. I feel like when you now that we're doing this, uh, thing with Sonic <clears throat> and trying to get him banned. You're not banning the a character or anymore. You're actually banning the player because most of these people who are playing Sonic and are getting this far are tried and true Sonic mains. That's a good point. It isn't like these people are like picking, uh, you know, picking Sonic up to uh, win a tournament or some shit like that. Like now, if MK Leo comes back next week and he picks Sonic up and wins the tournament, you know, then I might, <laughs> I might, I might bat an eye at that or something. Or if like top eight consists of everyone going their main until game two or then, then they pick sonic so if it's like all right esam going uh, esam versus cosmos pikachu versus inkling or pikachu versus pikachu or whatever sure one of them loses one of them goes sonic that person loses the other one goes sonic now we have a sonic ditto again i'm like all right this this is when it becomes a problem yeah uh unfortunately uh we're not at that point yet and as peter uh cage why said that is kind of what bale was doing uh, to an extent for top players. It wasn't sure. happening for everyone. It wasn't like there was like 02 people now winning tournaments. There definitely was 02 people not going 02 anymore, but they weren't winning tournaments. I don't think to to, to say that Sonic is to is now able to get banned is like saying that he is just as toxic as Bayo. And that's basing it off of just online. Yeah. The thing that y'all don't care about <laughs> Ah couldn't be me, man. Yeah. Well that I forgot about that whole thing. People acting like they don't care about the online stuff it's um i don't know man it's uh it's a weird thing i i i get why people would be frustrated and like 
people would be mad and feel like viewership might sink. But at the same time, the it's like... you saying that is killing me. Like, what? women be shopping, people be mad. Well, <laughs> women, women do be shopping, as you know. Women do, <laughs> women do be shopping, but that's uh, neither here nor there. Um, women have been shopping for millions of years. Uh, sure, sure. Sonic players are just like, it's... I don't know, man, because I don't want to ban a character when only the mains of the characters are succeeding. I don't care about viewership. I don't care about, like, anything else during this time. However, this does lead to another point, which I think I might have noted later, which I'm just going to bring up now. Um, did you see the quarantine changes now? Because of the reception of the major, not only are they running less events, like minors and stuff, but actually the next major is going to be all random characters. Which is crazy. Yeah, but I'm 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 for it, dude. Like, yeah, I mean, you know, Alfred is he's he's chaotic. He's chaotic neutral, bro. He he might be chaotic good. Like, I feel like he wants. To, he's doing good stuff, but he's he's shaking it up. Yeah. And uh, with the fact that everyone is always complaining all the time, I feel like at this point you got to show them the other side of the of the coin, basically. And this is like yeah. the other side of the coin. You know, it's like, all right, man, you guys are always complaining about all these characters and how shitty wi-fi is well let's just go let's dive even deeper and now yep. he's going to like let's play random you know let's have as much fun as possible and to me i think that is the best way to have fun if you like are now complaining about wi-fi and stuff while getting random like you just you have too much time on your hand bro yeah. like you have too much time on your hand like the the whole thing point of this is for it to be fun now and if you're still like oh, i can't believe i lost this guy because he got the random lucky pick of Crom into Bayo or some shit like i don't know or yeah. Crom into into the palatina those are his mains all right, you, you, you got dealt a bad hand. The thing is, the, the tournament's fucking free, so, like, just come through, stream it, have some fun, and then when you get out, just continue to stream. Yeah. I think it's it's positive. Like, the whole point of this, like, you got to look at it from their point of view. Like, it's not about being hyper-competitive for them. Like, they just want people to have fun and enjoyment. If you got a chance to win some money, you got a chance to win money. Like, the problem is, it probably, I don't think it would have got changed or adjusted if shit didn't get so toxic, you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. that's you, you, you can't ignore that, right? You can't ignore that. We're commentating and it's just like the chat just spamming, like, did he just spin that and shit like that? And just yeah. like, I mean, that's funny. It's comical, but at the same time, like, it's not really hiding all the the obvious negativity that's associated with it. So I get right. what they're going. They're they're happy go lucky guys. They're not trying to be a part of all that bullshit. So I think this change is actually really positive. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, a lot and i think it'll actually encourage uh, even more people to enter without um, like more top players to enter without as much uh worry about being stressed out or just like pissed and stuff like that i don't know i don't see it as a bad thing that's actually a really good point i didn't really consider the fact that that might hook in people because like mars isn't doing it but mm -hmm. mars has pretty deep pockets in terms of characters so you might think you know fuck it i'll enter yeah. something um Definitely. i think wizzy is doing the same thing although wizzy doesn't really play he's got a weird yoshi um <laughs> but he only plays Mario, really. So it's like, uh, I that's a good point. I, I just, I keep remembering. I don't know if you guys remember this, but when they announced the quarantine series, it was like, you know, $10,000. It's a big deal. Um, it, I think the first one didn't have seating. Or that was the Soak series. That's what it was. The first one that mm -hmm. Critical did. First one didn't have seating. Or they said that they weren't going to or something. And, like, I think a lot of people were like, okay. You know, it's an online tournament. It's the first time they're doing this. Who cares? There was a very local, local. There was a very loud uh, vocal group of people that were like, I can't believe this tournament doesn't have seating. This is such trash, blah, blah, blah. But they tried to make it very clear. This is like, this is not Evo. We're trying to, we're trying to have a good time. We're trying to have fun. And I'm kind of enjoying that they're going to pivot into that. I feel like they have to. Um, I, I wish they didn't, but I think you're right that... It's it's for the good of apparently everybody's mental health. Like I don't know. Um, I, I know a lot of people have been upset about Sonic, upset about certain characters. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe this is what we need. I'm excited for it. I hope it it, it does really well. I think yeah. it'll be great. I, I <laughs> the mental health thing is actually killing me. <laughs> it's true, bro. People I just are... imagine someone at home just, <laughs> just like. <laughs> Crying while he's playing. You fucking split that shit on me. Just gotta <laughs> pop a fucking Valium in the middle of a game. Just <laughs> fight me! <laughs> Just popping a Zan, like just in his room. Mom comes in, like, "What are you crying?" Just Sonic, just keep fucking split that shit again. <laughs> Turn the game off, honey. Just I bet Battlefield and he went Kalos. <laughs> All right. Frustration is there, man. <laughs> 
It's tragic. Bro, I, I definitely get it, but I'm also, I guess the competitive mindset is just dead for us, so we won't. That's true. You know, like, <laughs> I, I enjoy I enjoy playing and I enjoy winning, but like if someone's playing mad annoying, I'm just going to give it up. Like, Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just give it up, bro. Like, yo, you are playing like you were trying to get to top eight. You want this you're probably going to You're probably going to lose next round, but I'm okay getting 97 instead of 65th. Mm -hmm. So we're... We're good. <laughs> yeah. We're good. Bro, it's I've that's happened to me in tournament. So I can only imagine what it's like on Wi Fi. It's like, okay, you wanna win. Like yeah, yeah. that's fine, dude. You you take it. It's I submit. Go for it. Bro, um, I, probably, I probably said that to someone while I'm playing them too. Like I'm playing and I see that dude on the other side of the map and he's like and like I'm 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 already winning, but he's still camping me and I just look over, I'm like, dog <laughs> You really trying to win today. <laughs> you could go far, huh? I wish I could be toxic. It's like, oh, how many man. more sets you think you're going to win, bucko? How far are you going to get? How much money are you going to make today, <laughs> champ? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. But who you got to play next? Oh, Leo? You think you're going to be able to out camp Oh, him? you got Good that, luck. bro. Yeah. If you Good keep luck. doing this, yeah. Tweet couldn't do it, but you can. Yeah, just sit on the other stage. You got it. Charge that waft. Whatever. All right. Anyway, Sonic's very good. Uh, I, I, I feel like Sonic is another... I don't know, dude. I feel like Sonic is another cloud thing where people are going to sort of figure it out. Um, all the cloud, like the mains and the serious cloud players sort of came up and popped off in the in the Wi-Fi era. And now people sort of, you know, we're getting bro, used to it. Bro, I will say, it. all these online clouds are pissing me off, bro. I feel like I've lost like seven out of the last eight online clouds I've played. I'm just oh, like, I bet they're everywhere now. really is popping off, yeah. Clouds that dude right now. Mm. Are, they, are they all over quick play right now? No, I mean, I'm not even playing quick play. I'm just, like, I'm playing oh. like, my subs. And, like, I went over gotcha, to gotcha, EE's gotcha. channel and played his some of his subs. And then it was, like, the person who beat me was a cloud. And then right after he beat me, it was a cloud ditto. And I was like, all right, yeah, it's time for me to, yeah. <laughs> time for me to get him out this room and play. I'm, I'm good on that. So Actually, yeah, I didn't even. Kind of running rampant. I didn't even think about that. That's also because of Final Fantasy. Oh. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. It's, it's Final Fantasy Plus, he's popping off online, too. Like, it's just people are just, it's a per I even, even I wanted to pick up cloud for a little bit, but I just. Now I'm playing Byleth again for some fucking reason. So, yeah. whatever. That's silly. All right. Uh, so, I think we're all in agreement. Sonic isn't crazy. Let me get rid of these little guys. All right. Second topic of the day, and this is one that's near and dear to my heart because I think it's interesting. Uh, we got Smurf problems. I don't know if mm. you guys know much about this because this was on the Melee side and we're primarily Ultimate, but I thought this was interesting and worth talking about. You hear about this, though? Yeah, uh, right. You hear about this? It's crazy. You hear, you hear about this thing? <laughs> even, even more Jay Leno comparisons. It's disgusting. Uh, so, Plup, along with some other players over the weekend, entered a Melee online event as Fortnite Fred. And they apparently smurfed through a bracket and beat a lot of great players, and there was money on the line, and there were bounties for beating good players, and they had to take it away or something. And a lot of people were upset. And... Plup basically came out and said, sorry, I didn't think it was that big a deal, but I didn't mean that. And I, I feel like he was pretty genuine about it. I feel like he was like, I, I, I really didn't think it was a big deal, but I get why people think it's a big deal and it won't happen again. Um, that was just my opinion of how it hurt. Because a lot of people I felt like came at him and they were like, oh, you're only apologizing because you got caught. But it really looked like to me like he was like, yeah, it was stupid. I just wasn't thinking. Um that was my interpretation. I don't know how much you guys kept up with this, but I think it's a really interesting clip. thing with all the internet, I like, online events going on, you know? I saw the clip with him being like, yeah, man, uh, we were going to Smurf and thought it was going to be godlike. And I was, <laughs> I was like, oh, because uh, I didn't hear, I didn't see about the Smurfing thing until, uh, I didn't see that clip until after everyone already, like, had kind of blown up. And it was mm -hmm. like, yeah, man, uh, that probably was not the word choice to use yeah. for while you're trying to uh while you're trying to apologize yeah, yeah man i thought i'd just you know fuck around with my boys have a little fun it's gonna be got like you know it's like for who for for y'all maybe <laughs> but you're like you know you're 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 messing up the integrity of the tournament that they're trying to make right now so that wasn't you know it, it at the end of the day it was more so devil like if you will yeah and uh i just i don't know man uh, it, I, it wasn't i don't think it's anything that should ruin their like you know image or anything mm -hmm. but it was a bonehead move and i think that they should have they probably learned a lesson and should not do that again yeah i think it was like just like um, i mean i get like i think it would have been hilarious contact uh content but i think it, it just probably would have been better suited for like another event because obviously this one was a little more high up there 
uh, on the online totem pole or whatever you want to have it. But yeah, I mean, you know, dudes apologize. It is what it is. I don't think it's the end of the world. I saw some dumbasses talking about, man, these guys need like a year ban from competitive. Shut up. What? Shut Are you up. serious? Yes, I saw this. This was comments on Reddit and Twitter. I was just like, just shut the hell up. You know, this is. Bro, I'm telling you, man, this, this, this Wi-Fi shit is different, man. Everyone, the, the virtual signaling on, uh, is so wild today because the radar yeah. is off the entire time <laughs> until there's like a, like just a smidge of controversy. Just like, yeah, man, you know, fuck all this Wi-Fi shit. I can't wait. Plup did what? Ban him! <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't really, and I don't really know shit about Plup, like as a person, I only know him as a player, but sure. I mean, you know, it's not that big of a deal regardless. I don't think anybody was trying to screw, screw somebody over. You apologize, you move on. And I think they even, I think they're even doing something like a like a makeup tournament. I thought I saw it got announced on Twitter or something like that, mm -hmm. uh, which they're involved in. So you know, it's all good, man. Stop, stop spazzing out, people. Stop spazzing out. Y'all hear about that? Y'all see that thing about uh about uh hacks and Leffen though? Oh, that was juicy. I like that. Yeah, I did see that. That was, that was, that was kind of out of nowhere, but yeah, I went back to go do some research on that, and that was uh there was. Definitely some uh, cats out of the bag on that one. Do you want to? Do you so. want to talk about like for anybody that doesn't know the hacks and left and thing? Can you give a rundown? Um. So for the hacks, I, I didn't get like the full full gist, but apparently at some point in time they had like they agreed to like uh, that Leffen was gonna give some of the, his pot or his bonus up, I guess from his Evo winnings. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, to fifth and seventh. And he just never did that. Uh, <laughs> and he just never did that apparently and he was like I'm still waiting for the check whatever whatever but uh, he like Leffen Hacks called Leffen out by for always being that guy who's like also virtual signaling you know what I'm saying he's always trying to call everybody else out while also doing shady shit on his own mm -hmm. and then uh, and then Leffen blocked him basically so <laughs> it was like of course Leffen's gonna do that but yeah he was like he was he, he, he tried to do that thing he was like you're always talking about like how you know Everyone else is doing this shit, but you're over here trying to kick a man when he's down or whatever, whatever. Like, you're no better than any of us or anybody else who is, uh, you know, always virtue signaling. And then, of course, he blocked him and moved on about his life. But that is kind of true uh, about Leffen. I mean, like, he, he he does a lot of, like, what is outward-facing shitty, like, shitty things. He says a lot of, like, crass things to people. He says a lot of rude things to people. But then, at the same time, we'll kind of turn around and be like, wow, wow, everybody's so mean to me. Like, that's shit with the Tekken thing, man. He uh, jumped in the Tekken, thought he was gonna be a god in like twelve days. Tekken is a hard fucking game, man. Like you can't you can't just hop in there and then become a god in, in twelve hours. Oh, um, did he give up on that? I don't know if he's still doing that. But I, I know he hated the community. He said that people were just kind of being shitty to him. Yeah, but like people were coming in and they were uh, and they were like, you know, I guess probably trying to give him hints and stuff. But it was like, and I get where he was coming from. It was like people who probably he could beat already. Uh, <laughs> and but like. It was like circle is right like, foot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it was like shit like that. And but and but there were actually other top players in there of people who I know that he wouldn't be able to beat. That were also giving him trying to give him help and mm -hmm. hints and stuff. And he was just being rude to everybody. So eventually uh -oh. it started being rude back to him. And then he was like, "Wow, look at the community. Look how they act." And I was like, "Bro, you started this. Like, you you can't like." I don't know, you can't, like, be the antagonist and then when people start to clap back, be like, oh, shit, I can't believe. Because <laughs> the Smash community won't do that to him. Like, he can say whatever he wants to Smash community because uh, more often than not, he's he's usually kind of at least some way right. Like, when he's shit-talking shit Ultimate. Oh, sure. And when his complaints, uh, even though I don't like the way he phrases them, they are shit that I think about, too. Like, mm -hmm. Ultimate does have uh, shitty movement options at times. And, you know, the shield being 11 frames to drop is kind of weird and whatever, whatever. But... You can't go to another game that you don't know that much about and do that. So sure, I don't know. I um. One thing that I w I wanted to bring up that I did see from this is that Leffen apparently did the same thing calling out hacks because apparently hacks said like certain amount of subs or something if I get voted was, into Summit. Yeah, yeah. No, no. no was I think it was a, uh, to play Falcon seriously again. That's what it was. It was some. Yeah, it was Falcon some kind of monetary again. thing. It was like I'll just only play Falcon, and then he got it, and then he didn't do it. But I didn't. I don't keep up with it, so I didn't know if like maybe he just didn't go to anything. Maybe like, I, I think he played the Falcon in the swag bracket. Okay. I think I think that's what happened. But I think he was implying that he was going to pick it up and play it like on a serious tournament level. Again. Right. It's I think that's yeah. what it's a weird thing because I feel like so much stuff gets forgotten, and I feel like this is an example of that of people like, I don't know, um, just stuff kind of getting unearthed that people say and then they forget about. Um, 
I have no opinion on this. I just thought it was mad juicy. Uh, I like yeah. Leffen. I don't know Hacks. Like, I don't know Leffen as a person, really, but like I like the guy from our interactions, and I think, like you said, TK, he's usually right about a lot of things, at least in the Smash sense. Um, I've never met Hacks, but he's funny, so I don't know. I mean, Leffen as a person, like... Is actually really dope. I enjoyed talking to Leffen, you know, like when we're out at events and shit together. Just Leffen's online persona is just was ass. I don't like that shit. Like I, but you know, a lot of people love it, so they just continue to you know, kind of feed into it. So mm -hmm. yeah, I can't even find Hacks' Twitter. I was actually trying to go see if I could find. Is the whole it just thing, but... Hacks Money? Maybe Hacks F and Money? I don't know. It, it's, like it's Hacks SSBM, but for some reason I cannot. I don't see it right now. I get the sense that like oh, Leffen, SBM hacks. Okay. I get the and I don't want to like be that guy using first names, but I feel like Leffen is different from like what's his name William, like they're two different people. You know what I mean? And oh, it's okay. like yeah, yeah, when yeah. you when you talk to him because like that's true for pretty much everybody with that big personality thing. But um, yeah, that's fair. A lot I mean, of every time I've had an interaction with Leffen, uh, I it's, it, I've never had a negative one with him. I'll say that. Yeah, like, it's I been great. I think he's a pretty cool guy. So yeah, um, but I I could see like he will just get at he will just you know go at people online <laughs> it's pretty amusing i think it's funny as hell yeah but i could see where some people be like you know you're, you're kind of doing too much maybe okay. sometimes i found i found i found the tweet <laughs> so leffin leffin was talking about the smurfing net play thing so he's like smurfing net play tournament with four people in a uh, in a tournament with bounties and pride pools and not and not expecting backlash is really really fucking stupid that said i think that they're really uh were just stupid temporarily and didn't think how it hurts to's other attendees and they said bad pr move then laugh about it and not make an actual apology. I honestly think it's 90% of the reason people are upset. Just own your stupidity and your fuck up and ban yourself from online tournaments for a year to make it. Okay, so. Ah. He, all right, so he's one of them. Didn't realize that I was going to get ban yourself Come from online on, tournaments for a year. Well, he said online. I, I'm talking about people who said offline. I thought that was well, ridiculous. I mean, <laughs> online, I, I know. It, I agree too. Online, It's no. not that for A year, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Do you, do you saying, think we're going to be quarantined insane. for a year? <laughs> I mean, maybe i mean maybe i guess I, that's just okay anyway for it, uh, your mental health will thank you too for banning yourself so then it got quote tweeted and then hack said on the other hand it's good pr to lie and say that you're going to give fifth and seventh place at evo cut of your winnings and never never follow through can't be bad pr if people never find out and then uh i'm pretty sure he responded to that right let me just this fucking wesh balls gif uh there's an, it says left always presents uh things in a way that some kind of truth bias uh, so that he can deny his real intentions or, or upstirring the pot. He used to openly admit this back during Smash Bros. days, but nowadays he's smarter about it. Uh, so then Leffen says, "Here's what we'll do." Oh, well, he actually he he, tweet, he quote tweeted that tweet from uh from Hacks and said, "Straight up, haven't got the check myself. My manager TSM Scales can confirm. Couldn't cast the check in Sweden because it was too large. Flex. My bad. <laughs> my bad for not uh following up though." Straight up procrastinated on it. He says, "Here's what we'll do though. I'll pay the money today, and you'll pick up Falcon again, like you got those." thousands of dollars for and everyone will be happy and i was like well and then he and then he blocked uh hacks so that was wait so he couldn't cash the e has sweden like not seen that amount of money before <laughs> i think it was an international thing <laughs> oh okay i was gonna say like it was, it was too it's big i just couldn't i just yeah. couldn't you know Sweden's i mean i've never seen it there's so much money that's a flex though this like, is too I, much I mean, money eight thousand yeah, dollars <laughs> What That's are you? This is, the, this is the Sweden economy in money right now. It's the entire GDP of a year. One thousand dollars? <laughs> Incredible. What are you trying to buy the fucking bank? Like, <laughs> you are now king of Sweden. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I, I don't. I don't have a, a horse in that race. I do, I do think Levin should have been like kicking a man when he's down, but also, just they should have not also been smurfing as well. So that was. Both of them are right in a way, you know. Yeah, um, kind of just. We're getting away from the point here. Online events, yeah. I think people are gonna be goofy. I do think it's important. I think somebody was gonna do this, and it just happened to be Pluff. Honestly, like, in the same way that some things are gonna happen with Pound Online and like Grace and getting DQ'd and all that stuff. We're gonna, this stuff is gonna happen. It's good to get it out of the way because something's gonna happen at Evo, and that's actually our third topic of today. But boom. Everything got canceled, including Evo this year, and I think there's going to be some kind of disaster. There are too many games for there not to be. Something. Yeah, I. Something's going to happen. It, it is so different depending on every, this. Uh, Evo's now a self-sufficient tournament, so mm -hmm. like it's technically kind of self-sufficient. Uh, you know, in online, like you have to show up the pools, whatever, all the good stuff. But there's, you know, now you have to check your own bracket. Got to have your good internet. Mm, uh, you yep. know, you got to have all that shit going for you right now. And if you're in multiple games, 
damn, bro. So yeah, Evo 2020 is going to be a disaster, but it's going to be a disaster I'm going to love watching. I'm actually surprised how Evo's going down because I, I heard that they're opening Vegas up Memorial Day weekend. So I Really? Thought, yeah, that's what I heard. Uh, I have a friend who lives there. Um, that's what I heard. So I'm actually surprised they didn't, they didn't, you know, if that's going to be the case, they didn't elect to just have it, have the event still happen. You know, maybe they're erring on the side of caution because you never know what could happen prior to that or post that. But, mm. you know, I'm just, I'm just a little surprised actually. Yeah, that's, damn. Okay. That's crazy. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I, I feel like Evo has so many issues that I, like, I trust the Evo staff. They're smart. They they can't build an event like that without them being that way. But, like, how are you going to stop people from just entering eight times? You got eight different pools. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, you can you Is just Is it have... free, or do you still have to pay for this now? I assume it's paying. I Well, I think so. I don't know. I don't think it would be a free event. But it's like... Mr. Wizard, bro. That's probably... It's, it's a paid event, bro. He's going to get that money some way or another. He's going to get that money one way or another. He could definitely skip this Evo and probably still be sitting pretty, but he's like, nah, I'm going to need that money, player. I'm saying, like, if it's 50 bucks for every entry... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, I think oh, I no. oh no! Oh no! Oh look! What have you done? I don't what know. What have you done? <laughs> Your baby is crying. I'm sorry. <laughs> she. Yeah, Matt, it's okay. Hi. Okay, now she's smiling. It's okay. It's, it's just me. Hello. Okay, I think she got scared because Mal passed her to me and she didn't like look at me, so I was just holding her. Hi. Okay, she's good. Uh, I'm saying fifty. I love you too. No, there's some upset. What is this Kataro emote? I didn't do it. Uh, <laughs> is that Kataro emote? Oh my god, it is. Oh, that's the Johnny okay. Johnny shit. That's good shit. Um, I think I scared I'm her. To, I'm about to use the boss baby as my emote, bro. I love that movie. I think she got scared because the lights. I got big lights and screens, and it was like a like abducted by aliens. Um, bro, mm. even if even if it's fifty bucks for every entry, if you're a top player, like top five player. 50 bucks for four entries for four chances in a bracket? Why not? And then you just play the odds, and you're like, all right, I'm top 16 four times. What's my easiest path? I'm just... How do you enforce that? Maybe Smash GG has to have some kind of IP thing, but there are ways around that. I just... Like... I don't know, dude. It's... uh, I, I They have a lot of challenges ahead of them that I'm sure a lot of them have thought of, but I don't know how you fix it. Bro, I see someone, uh, Hungerbox right now just said he's uh, entering a Sonic Band Wi-Fi tournament. So they're happening. They're happening. It is like, somewhere out there. Popping definitely up. happening. Yeah. So, I mean, if that's what you want to, hey, hey, guys, if you are definitely trying to get away from Sonic, you know, make sure you go find those Sonic Band Wi-Fi tournaments. But Yeah. Yeah, Evo, uh, as I was talking about a hard reads, man, it's the best you can get. I mean, it's, we're, we're basically in the best you can do situation for the rest of this year. I, I yeah. don't really know. I don't know when this pandemic is going to be over. I don't really see. Um, I don't see any. Like, I feel like I haven't seen any news about any progress being made. More people are still dying. I have friends that are now, like, and, like, very, like, you know, depressive episodes because of the stuff that they're seeing and stuff. And it just feels like it's only getting worse. And, uh, like, even if the year is over, even if, like, it finishes by December or whatever or some shit, I feel like people will still be too shook to, you know, go to tournaments for a little bit. Uh, to not maybe start another, yeah, you know, yeah. another rise. So even if even if Vegas does open, I feel like Evo would like take a big hit, and it's like, do you mm. want to rent out that fucking Mandalay Bay arena? True. Uh, you the know, only I don't counter know. I would have to that is I would imagine like they wouldn't. Mm, I would feel like they'd have to like adjust their pricing too. Oh yeah, you know what I mean? Because yeah. they still want to get people in there, but. I, again, I understand Aaron on the, the side of caution uh, this year, which is perfectly fine because, you know, events can still resume depending on how things go, like, later in the year. It's not like the end of the world. But people just have to be patient because this is, uh, you know, you can't just get bored of this. It's not just going to go away because we want it to. Part of me wonders, so do you remember how Genesis won the lottery because, like, it came out the month before Ultimate? Or mm -hmm. Ultimate came out a month before Genesis, and it's like, okay, cool, so that's the first big event. Um I wonder what the who's gonna win the lottery when like the whole country opens up, if it happens. You know, whatever whatever's happening at the end of this, like who's gonna be the event that that didn't fold? Because you got to keep that in mind. A lot of the events like Smash Splash is canceled, CEOs canceled, uh, Evo, all this other shit. What is the event that is in that sweet spot between far enough out that this might blow over 
or be done, but also close enough to be the first one, you know? Because it'll, it'll be a 2GG event. Let's go, champ. <laughs> Let's go get on. it. Go on. That's my boy. He's maybe find a way. maybe Big House uh, October? Uh, maybe. Riptide? Yeah, big, I guess Big Tide. Well, Riptide's late yeah. September. Well, all right, that's probably. I feel like that's going to get canceled. Riptide? Uh, yeah, I feel like a tournament said, at a fucking water park. That that has to get canceled. An Bro, indoor is, water park. Yeah. That sounds like a cesspool of germs. Like everyone leaves that. You Riptide, just need the, the water pandemic. to be heated. <laughs> that's like boiling hot. Not like boiling, but they scold every now and then. Let's keep them honest. This kid's getting out with first degree burns. Nah. <laughs> Whatever, it'll grow back. Man. They're getting new skin anyway. All right. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. Uh, also, CEO got rescheduled to December. Um, so it's not uh, it's not getting canceled, but it's changing. Shine is a possibility. I guess. I just I've talked to people that are that are that are smarter than me. Um, my boss at Panda is a doctor, and we've talked about this. And like, part of me wonders if it's just like this is a normal thing now, like the flu shot. You know, it's just like it's just a part of life, and it obviously will go down as people get antibodies for it. But I don't know; it's a different world. I we'll, what happened with we'll SARS, say. bro? That was also COVID, and just COVID, whatever year that was. So what right. happened to SARS, man? Like, how did they cure that? Did they even cure that or did it just, like, stop showing up one day? I think it was so remember. hard to cure that they didn't do it, and then it just, I don't know if it died. I don't know what happened. But I think it was so difficult to cure that they they were, like, they took a lot of time, and then it just fell off. I think. I could be wrong. Hmm. I don't know, though. We'll <laughs> see. Well, I guess we won't see because SARS is canceled. So, hashtag canceled. All right. Hashtag canceled. Now time for you, viewers. To ask us anything you would like, unless there's anything else you guys wanted to go over in terms of topics. Like I, I like. I'm just looking at the chat and what they're saying about SARS and the fact that someone like Zayn said SARS fell off, and I don't know why that just sounds so fucking funny it's to me. Washed. Like, bro, you, SARS washed, bro. Measles, trash, bro. <laughs> it's not nice. <laughs> Who are you getting sick? Not me. Like. <laughs> Oh, shit. All right, fellas, let's answer the chat questions. Guys, hit us up, hashtag BlastZone. Anything you want to know from us three. You don't have to keep it Smash-related, but let's keep it, like, civil. Okay? PG-13, at least. Don't go crazy. I mean, you can ask us anything. It just doesn't mean I we're might skip going to answer it. Yeah, I, might I, skip it. I might just yeah, skip bro. that shit. All right. Damn, we got a lot of questions. Thank you, guys. All right. Hmm. Wow, people sent us questions before we even went live. Damn. Uh, oh, shit. Chill Shroom. Firstly, thank you, guys. My virus schedule has me at 80 hours a week, and it's a lot less mentally taxing thanks to shows like this and Hard Read. So, honestly, thanks so much. Well, thank you for tuning in. Appreciate that. Uh, oh, God. Do you remember any stories of cringy slash awkward fan interactions? <laughs> I don't like talking about that because I don't like blowing uh. people up. Yeah, I mean, we, we have them for sure, but yeah, I'm not just... Dude, the only, you know, this is what we'll say, bro. Like, interactions don't have to be hard. That's all I'm saying. Like, come in, get your, you know, get your sentences out, get your sign, get your picture, get your autograph, and then keep it moving. Keep it pushing. Hey, man, really love your commentary. Think I think you can sign my controller. Thanks, bro. Uh, by the way, man, like, the last time you did something to Genesis, that was very funny. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna head out. What happens is, people don't stop the conversation there, and then it ends up becoming, like, about your personal life and shit, and that's just, that's that's going overboard, bro. People that, asking... That, that's all. People asking us to go get food, I'm like... Yeah, man. Yeah, my mom's actually gonna, she's actually about to pull around if you guys wanna come to my house. She's making lasagna tonight. <laughs> like, uh, what? Nah, man, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. And so. just appropriate, uh, appropriate approach times, too. I think we talked about it last week, actually getting approached on commentary while we're, oh, yeah. you know, you know, for a picture or something to sign or, like, in the bathroom has happened to me a couple of times. Just just wait. You know what I mean? Because we're very friendly. We love talking to people. Just just, just wait. Yeah. Uh, turns down lasagna. Sick. <laughs> Septilogy asks, if you had to choose one character in Smash to host a long-running internet cooking show with, who would you choose? Assume in this scenario that all characters can converse with you and the viewers fluently. So they can talk. Um, Ultimate character. <laughs> That's easy, bro. I'm picking K. Rule. 
We slattering up them ribs, bro. We baking that chip. Come on, man. That's a cookout. That's a cookout character right there, bro. I'm picking K. Rule. Doesn't he only eat bananas? Nah, nah. nah not, not, that's that's just for TV. Oh, gotcha. The right. real K. Rule is the... I'm going to pick Wario, bro. I feel like him just laughing the entire time would, be, would not sell. That'd be funny <laughs> enough. Just <laughs> That'd just sell. Just like every time. What are we making? Ha, ha, ha. That's not all right. <laughs> let's keep that. it moving, bro. I would do I would do Falco because Falco is probably funny. He's kind of a dick, you know, and like I could eat like turkey and he could get mad about it and like that's good content. Maybe Olimar, because like Falco's just laughing, bro. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> I I'm surprised nobody's ever like I'm sure that comparison's been made quite a bit. I I like Falco. I would I would I would, I would I would I would do that with Falco. That'd be fun. All right. Uh. TRW, who is the most forgotten fighter on the roster? Lack of representation or not talked about enough. They gave their opinion. I want to know yours before I say it. Wait, who was the Who what? do you forget is in the game? Most forgotten about character and nobody plays them, nobody talks about them. Isabel. Uh, Villager, actually. I, I feel like I hear more <laughs> about them? Isabel. It, like, I feel like I hear more about Isabel than Villager, mm. but... I don't hear nothing about Villager, like, ever. Uh, mine is Ryu, uh, but this person's is Lucario, and these are all fine answers. Mm -hmm. There are way too many goddamn characters in this game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't you can't remember them. Pit? I always you're, forget you're Pit's in forget. the game. You're going to forget, sure. So, I just... I don't know, man. Sometimes I forget two links in the game until I pick them. Yep, and yep. I'm like, oh, yeah, there is another link in this game. Yep. So, you never forget yeah. Young Link. But you always forget yeah, yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but what are your thoughts? Oh, hold on. Uh, okay. What are your thoughts on that weird time period where people got mad at the PGR because they thought it was Panda Global Rankings instead of Panda Global Rankings? Maybe this isn't the best question. Uh, I, I, uh, are, we, are we talking about when the PGR was, like, based off NA and then they expanded it to the world? No, they're saying, do you remember when people didn't realize that Panda Global was the org name, so they thought it was Panda and these are the global rankings instead oh. of these, we are Panda Global and these are the rankings. You see what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like, they're two different right. things. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I don't think people really cared that. Like, it's one of those things you can look back at and be like, that was silly, but I don't think that's, I don't know. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, it's definitely one. It's, it's, it's outrage culture as per usual. People always want to be mad about whatever. And and the thing is though, like when it was like just America only or whatever, like once the the global, the actual global became global, people got upset because the Japanese players were getting fat fucking fat boosts. And I was like, yeah. Well, you this is what you wanted. You said you wanted to have it more inclusive, include them, and then we did it and now you're mad that you're uh you're twenty fifth instead of fifteenth. Yeah. So, you know, whatever. Tough. Yeah. Uh Bardlu says, if Sonic was banned, what other characters do you think would be considered for bans? Depends on who's winning in three months. Yeah. Like, there's no, there's no, I can't think of anybody right now that's also as, like, annoying to watch for most people as Sonic right now. That can play that game style. I mean, there's a, a lot, bunch of zoners, but they're not as fast, so. Right. Rip. I don't know any characters that could, like, do it that much, you know? And, like, nobody's, like, Sonic is that perfect intersection between, like, annoying ass character and has representation because if we had like eight duck hunts in a bracket rob might be one of them actually because rob is all over these events so people get pissed off at him at some point um but like they're they're really annoying characters but nobody plays them so it doesn't matter mm -hmm. um cc says uh will sonic be more apparent in the meta in offline after quarantine is finished probably not He's gonna be Probably the same. not, dude. Yeah, I think I think Sonic is working so well online right now because you're, you're you you can't react, you know. Can't punish him. Yeah, you can't punish. You can't react as well as you probably could offline. Not to say that that spin dash and shit wouldn't work offline too against a lot of people. But sure. For certain people, they might be able to just punish it with like an up B out of all, when it hits their shield or up B before he hits or something like that, uh, or or just punish it as soon as he passes by. It's just really hard to punish it online. You're kind of guessing, so yeah. Uh, Star Destroyer says, Show you Momo says, makes videos with fake patch notes where DBFZ characters get ridiculous stuff like no cooldown assists. 
What character are you, are you picking to give whatever you want? I saw this an hour ago, and my answer is still the same. I want Shulk to have the same cooldowns from Minato, but they get stronger every time he picks them. Like, he retains the power. So if you get jump, you just, for the rest of the match, you jump twice as high, but it keeps going. So, like, if you let him get smash eight times, he just kills you instantly. So he's like a time bomb character, you know? Yeah, well, if he got jumped three times, wouldn't he just kill himself? <laughs> I don't think you can. I don't think you can die off the top it unless you get hit. That's true. So he Imagine would. Ju that. He would just. But you, he could time you out because he, he would, would just, just like. You out. Yeah, he would just jump and then it would take thirty seconds for him to come down. Yeah, that would be broken. That'd be my. Answer. I uh, I go with. I think that um, let's give Fox mm -hmm. the staff from Star Fox Adventures. Oh my God! Let's completely retool him and uh, <laughs> rekit him. Did you even play Star Fox Adventure? Yes. What? What? How did that? How did it end? It was a while ago, bro. <laughs> I mean, I, I remember fighting Andros at the end, like his big head floating, and then Falco came in with the cameo. He took that motherfucker down. Isn't that All Star right. Fox 64? <laughs> no. Nah. Sonic. Sonic. Star Fox. Adventure, bro. Adventure <laughs> final boss. Was it really oh, a giant Andros? Oh, my God, it was. He's Dude. right. It's a giant Andros head again. Why? That's no, crazy. That's all Andros ever does. Yeah, <laughs> but I, yeah, but that game wasn't even like in a in a in a spaceship, right? Like, yeah, because you got stranded. So like, oh, so you got that's, the spaceship that's, that's, that end. was the adventure. Like, you actually still had a spaceship. It was just ass. Well, like for like most of the game. So yeah, yeah. Phil's right. Just damn. You did play that game. I did play that one. Ken I says, know. "Hey, Blazone, uh, give it up. which I PGR give it up. ranked player would you want by your side in an actual fight?" Let me see. Like scrapping yeah. with somebody? Yeah. Probably take best Ness, I guess. It is it all PGR? Unless, unless Lade why, is bro. PGR. <laughs> oh yeah, actually, it's all PGR. If, Damn, I thought it was like top ten. No, all PGR. Is Lade on PGR? No. He might I think he's area fifty No he's not. Damn. Oh, yeah, I'll take Best Ness. Uh, probably Best Ness. Yeah. I'm I'm looking at the list. Most of these are children. Like I don't I don't want to take them into the line of fire. Yeah, I think Best Ness is your best bet. I'm taking Salem. And then I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. It's like, damn, we fighting. And I'm like all the way in the back. What the fuck? <laughs> you ever see that episode of Hey Arnold where he's about to get into a fight? And he's like, don't hit me. I'll hit me. I'm crazy. And he starts like breaking glasses on his head. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> That's Salem. <laughs> he would scare them off, I think. It would be fine. That dude's nuts. Oh, my God. That would be my guess. Uh, yeah, that's probably the best bet. Maybe one of the Japanese players, bro. We don't know. Maybe they're from, like, the, the I don't know, the rundown precinct. Something happened. I don't know. Fucking Zach Ray is, the, is Jet Li's son somehow. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I've trained under this tutelage. Like, like you're you're about to fight, and he's just standing in the back with his hands behind his back like this, and you're like, what is he going to do? <laughs> he's about to do something crazy. Oh, what is going on? <laughs> like, what the? I'm just going to stand back and let him do it. Oh. All right. Uh... If Kamehame was still on, I don't know if he was on there, but if he was, I'd, I'd use him. Kamehame looks, like looks bully. tough. He looks like a school bully already, so. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that big time. He's definitely from the Yakuza or something. That's a good, Kamehame. that's a good, I saw, yeah, I saw uh, uh, Kamehame, like, smoking outside Frostbite once, and I, I just thought he was going to beat my ass. Like, I thought I, I thought <laughs> I walked down the wrong alley. Like, and I, I was in the artist alley with, like, hentai next to me, so I was just feeling very unsafe. Jeez. Um. Yeah, I Kamemi is the answer, I think. Big D? No, Big D's a sweetheart. He's very tall, yeah. but he's 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 very nice. I it seemed like he want to talk it out. <laughs> yeah, he's a gentle giant. That's I, he's a good guy, I think. All right. Um Subby, how changed do you think the scene will be after the pandemic ends? Do you think TOs will be more cautious about hygiene and sanitation? No, probably no. not. I don't think so. You, how do you enforce that, man? Like, I mean, you can put you can put the uh, you know the hand sanitizers out there, but you're not gonna have like a fucking 
you know, you're gonna have a not gonna have a to uh, or a, a volunteer list of people who are just gonna walk around and see if everybody's clean or not. Right. And that is a job I would not volunteer to do. Just we have an alert here. <laughs> just, woo, woo, woo. This guy has not taken a shower. His hands look look under his fingernails. They are dirty as hell, boy. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. You gotta take pictures of people every single day to make sure they're changing their outfit. <laughs> Hold on. I wouldn't well, even, and I wouldn't necessarily trust the volunteers. That Fiction's could just be fail. a guy. Fiction's That's a good point. That, yeah. You know? Yep. Fiction's failing that that outfit test. Oof. Hate to see it. You have to bring it up every episode. Like, come on. <laughs> I love it. I love it, dude. Every time. It. It's a meme. It. It's a meme on this show now. Like, all right. Just the basketball shorts. TRW, which top? Uh, ooh. Which top ten slash fifteen PGR player do you see slowing down a bit? Not like Myron. Damn. But just getting Damn. pulled off a bit because of Corona. <laughs> That's fucked up for one thing. Yeesh. Yeesh. Where did Myron drop? Hold on. Did he get to? Oh, he went to fifty-one. All right. Uh, Damn. He's not even. Damn, bro. Yeah, yeah, I think I think Myron just made himself an easy tar target though because he's spending all this time complaining about shit that he doesn't use while other people uh, counterparts are doing using his character to great success. So, you know. I don't know. Like, for, like anytime Myron said anything about the shield, I'm like, you don't play like that. So I don't. Why, why are we talking about this right now? Well, he also and, said he was like, I'm the best Olimar in the world when he did well at Frostbite, and it's like, yeah, but you know, come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Um. Hmm. I'm looking at the top. list right now. Top 15 that's gonna fall off. The problem is that. Four, five of them are Japanese, and I don't know what's going on over there. I don't know if they're yeah, having online events or what. For... Um, Shutong. Can't really pick anybody. T I mean, is I'll number fifteen. Japanese. T's fifteen. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Japan okay. popped, bro. Uh, out this list, the only person I could see potentially falling off uh, is Light and Sam. And I'm not saying falling off like they're not going to be in the top 15 or top 20. I just, Esam's kind of up and down. I mean, he has a good character, but, you know, he's kind of up and down with his results. When he pops off, he pops off. And when he doesn't, he ends up getting like 33rd. Uh, Light's playing Fox still. And I just, Fox just is not, I mean, I, he's doing it. Good shit. But, well, uh, yeah. But Fox is just, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, every, look how many people have dropped Fox. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like. And so, yeah, outside of the top 15 is them. And then, I mean, I guess T2 because he's playing Link. Like, what the fuck? But I don't know. I Part we'll of me see. wonders if, like, Pac-Man will get figured out and maybe the other T will. I don't know. Um, so I usually make a rule not to accept questions from chat, but I'm going to make an exception because I really like this one. Who would win in a fight, four Shaquille O'Neal's in their prime or one male gorilla? Oh, uh, four Shaquille O'Neal. You think four so? Shaquille four Shaquille O'Neal. Four Shaquille O'Neal. Absolutely. Do you know how strong he, a gorilla is? Uh, Prime Shaq, four of them motherfuckers versus a gorilla? I, I, Good luck, monkey. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I feel like Shaquille O'Neal isn't, well, he's in his prime. I was going to say, he's not especially coordinated, though. Like, he's lumbering. You know what I mean? And gorillas are mobile. I imagine sort of them trying to talk to each other. All the, hey, we're going to get him like this. No, we're going to like this. No, we're going to grab his arm, and I'm going to no, grab you grab his arm. We'll grab, I'm going to dunk on him. There ain't no basketball. What you mean? <laughs> like, listen, listen. Somebody's going to die right now, okay? And I hope it's going to die, okay? Somebody take it for the team. I'm going to go ahead and finish it off. See, somebody is legitimately going to die there, and that's okay. Okay, you have the one sacrificial, and then the other one just comes by and just gets him from behind. Like, you just, you control his arms. Once you control the gorilla's arms, matching it with Shaq's gorilla-like strength, all you need is one more to just deliver a closing blow somewhere. Are you going to, like, master lock him? Like, what are you going to do? What the fuck are you going to master lock him? Yes. Like, I'm going to sneak up behind him, put him in a full nest, and he's stuck him <laughs> to the body. <laughs> like, bro, I'm bro, I'm telling you. Two, four Shaqs? That's a, that's a dub. I, I don't know, dude. Bro. Shaq, are they always... I'm just imagining them all in Lakers outfits. Just with the purple and gold. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know, the real the real play is to have one from each of the teams he's on. So you get the Lakers, mm. you get the you get the Heat, you get the Celtics, you get the Cavs uniform. See, that's the real play. Wasn't he the on Magic? The Gorilla. I thought he was on Magic. I'm thinking of something. That's where else. he started his career. Yeah, that's uh, what it was. Okay. The Magic. Yeah. How are you gonna kill the Gorilla? E. E. If you punch it, it's a Gorilla. It doesn't give a shit. I it does. Once you're holding his once you're holding his body, 
you can get behind and either twist his neck or just choke him to the floor. Gorillas breathe. feel pain, bro. What do you mean? Like, they don't have not no pain receptors. It's just they got like a thick layer of fat to. So you punch him in the eyes or something. Give him a. You know what I'm saying? Hit him with the old the tungsten two poke. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> One of those. Tungsten. It's not even a place. Bro, I just. I think it's you not are. Shit. I think <laughs> it's an element, I think. Tungsten? Hold like on. tungsten is a place, bro. I think you're thinking of Tucson. Or Tustin. Tungsten is a grayish white lustrous metal. Close though. Oh. Uh, Man, you trying, there's no cities named Tungsten? You're thinking of Tucson, bro. That's in Arizona. All right, you got I it. think? Yeah. Uh I, I think gorillas are much stronger than you realize, and I think you should look it up after this because they're Tungsten, Colorado. Hmm? <laughs> it's a thing. Tungsten is a ghost town in Boulder City, uh in Boulder. Alright, it's a ghost town. It's not real. Ghosts it's a ghost town though. Ghosts aren't real, idiot. Oh, okay. Skelly You're says right. easiest character to learn in any Smash game, by the way. Uh Ganondorf. Honestly, I think Ganon's mad easy to learn and do well with. You're not winning well, oh, it, tournament sets, but you know In this game? In general. Any game. Who's the who's an easy character to learn and do well with? Mario? Everybody says that. Mario, fucking I don't know, heavyweights are just easy to do well with because I feel like you know what it is. You can make a lot more bro? mistakes with heavies. Yeah, but also I feel like people just like they play against heavies with no respect until they have to respect them. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. so like yeah, it's like all right, this heavy guy, he didn't know what he's fucking doing, and then you get hit by one neutral air up air, and you're at seventy, and you're like, what the fuck just happened in my life? And now you're playing like a whole bitch. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Heavies, heavies definitely have that like that feel. It's kind of it's, like, it's basically well, that's why Ganon is the perfect answer, is because almost any time I see Ganon, I feel like i'm sandbagging subconsciously just yeah. because he was been, he's been bad for so long i'm like all right bro it doesn't matter what you do i'm still gonna beat you even though he's like i still have to kind of respect him but yeah all right uh mitch says Hello? are are any of you going to play xenoblade chronicles definitive edition on launch no no can't wait <laughs> jrpg guy really Ever since I played Doki Doki, I feel like... How'd the last one end, bro? Games no, are speaking <laughs> to me. All right. Yeah, yeah they're, they're pretty similar. Uh, Horace Pipe Jr., are there any Smash players across all games who nobody hates? Off the top of my head, I can only think of Isaiah. Um, I think most people are very, very respectful of Leo. I don't know anybody that hates Leo. Like, even online, like, people don't... I feel like people don't hate Leo like the same way that they hate top players of other games. I don't know if I'm making that up. Nah, I, I feel mean, you. I, I feel like I feel like most Leo hate actually comes from the Leo fan base of the of the Mexican uh, like community, always like starting shit as if anyone was ever saying anything about Leo in the first place. That shit kills me. They're like, ja ja ja, you got you thought Leo would lose, and like no one thought that. Like literally, oh, yeah. no one said anything. Yep. Like, and then they're in the the fucking comments, Forma de Leo all fucking day, all that good shit. And it's just, bro, like, no, like, literally no one was like, no one said anything uh, about uh, Leo losing. Like, people want him to lose because it's the underdog thing, of, of sure. But that has nothing to do with Leo as a person. That has something to do with the fact that he's just dominant. You could take anyone and put them in Leo's position, and then people will stop liking them or stop wanting them to win as much because they want to see new champions. So, yeah, I, the, the, the Mexican community, they'll get in your fucking mentions. I remember I said something on commentary. It was like, oh, man, is this going to be it for Leo, man? It's looking a little rough. And then he made the, yeah, 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 the, yeah. the three-stock comeback. And this bitch tweeted at me. Like, I was going <laughs> against Leo. I'm like, bro, he's down 2-0. Like, what are you saying? Yeah. That shit, that shit killed me. Yeah, you thought Leo was going to lose. Shut the fuck up. Dude, it's so fun. I know I've told this story a lot, so I'm sorry if it like if I'm saying it again. But it's so fucking funny to me every time where, like, Leo will be in losers, right? And then he's coming up through losers, but he's coming all the way through seventh. So it's like, he's probably going to win. Like, he's, he's going very hard. He's beating everybody. You can't stop him. He's unstoppable. So the narrative of the commentary is like, Leo is an unstoppable force pushing through the bracket. Can anybody stop him? Oh, my God. So that's the narrative. But every single time, people will be in the comments like, LOL, commentator so biased. They really wanted Leo to lose. Click profile visit profile from mexico city mexico okay buddy all right so you just wanted your boy to win okay got it ja 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 every time <laughs> like, which is fine but yeah, yeah there's nothing wrong it's with kinda that it's kind of rinse and repeat you know what i'm saying it's just it's it's every time like 
I, I get it, but it's it's very weird for that to happen. Um, we just we just like good Smash. I can't think of anybody that's hated. People don't hate uh, Armada. I don't think. Did it? Did people ever hate Armada? Nah, but yeah, he kind of went out Armada. on top, bro. Mango fans did. Really? Yeah, when he was winning. I thought they would like respect him. Just like uh, you, you're frustrated, but like I don't think they hated him though. Like because like Ar- Mango had his own, you know, like form of respect for Armada. Like that was like I mean they were like that was a fat rivalry. You know what I'm saying I think obviously Mango fans wanted Mango to win, mm-hmm. but I don't I don't I could imagine Mango fans treating. Like, it wasn't like a Zero thing, where, like, people just kind of really wanted Zero to stop winning it when he won, like, his 30th tournament, and then there was 24 or 25 more tournaments before he finally lost or whatever. Uh, I think, yeah, Armada was, slap, was slapping and shit, but uh, games were close when Armada was slapping. Sure. When, when Zero was slapping, them games were not close. When I was watching those tournaments, but he was, like, making fools of people, bro. Mm. Oh, I think, you know what? It's kind of, like, probably past a lot of people's time. Mm-hmm. Or before their time, I should say. But PC Chris, I never saw that guy got hit it on at all. Yeah. Everybody loved PC. He was a homie. I wonder what he's doing now. Yeah, he's a stockbroker. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, well he made it out, man. See, that's the that's the good <laughs> where are they? That's the good where are they now, man? Because I'm telling you, man, about ten years from now, I really want to do a where are they now for like all the top Smash players and see where they ended up. Because I a lot of these people, I feel like they don't have discernible skills outside of playing Smash. At least not that I know of. And I'm like very interested in see what happens and what they're gonna do uh, once they either get too old to play or they get tired of playing. Uh, I think Mango has said before that he's gonna like he's okay he he's gonna be like the the coolest guy working at the Seven Eleven with a fucking Lambo. Like he do, he doesn't give a <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? He's like, but now I don't think he has to worry about that because he's. I think he's got 10k subs, or like he's set. Bro. Yeah, yeah like, he's banking right now. I'm sure he's putting a lot of that shit away too. Mango's probably set for. I mean, he's not. He's not like Ninja yet. Like Ninja could retire oh, right yeah. now and be set yeah. for the fucking life. But he's Mango's definitely set for at least a couple years. Yep. You know. Yeah. Um. Let me see. Horace Pipe Jr. also asks, "Who's the most genuine top player? Who's the fakest?" Um. I don't think anybody's particularly fake. Like, come on. All right. First, I don't. Look at, e. really look at his. Look at his face right we now. We can't answer I'll that because that's just going to come. That's a clip in a comeback. I was gonna say, that's you a DM immediately. Us. You want to clip us, bro? That's a DM immediately. Look what he said about you, damn. That's crazy. Yeah, you're trying nah, to get us, bro. You're trying nah, to get that's us. good. I'm. A, you know what? Nairo is genuine. Sam Sora is genuine. Uh, I think everybody's genuine. I'm looking at the list. Yeah, like, I, I can't I, think of anybody that I'm like. I like all these people. I think the only thing. I think the only thing that is a. Uh, it's fake. It's, it's Nystra's persona to, uh, comparison to his gameplay. That's a oh. that's a cool fucking dude, but his gameplay, bro. <laughs> yeah, and he's a little sensitive about it too. But which I get. Like you're in the public eye, people are making fun of you. But like, yeah, yeah. He's young. You gotta. Everybody gotta go through it. You know. So. Yeah. Uh, the buzz is hella genuine. That dude's himself, one hundred percent. King of New York, bro. The the buns, baby. I love him. Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't have any issues with any of these guys, so I don't. How dare you? Nice try on the bait. Didn't work. I think I think we're just too old to care. Like I don't. That I'm not gonna be beef true. with a twenty year old. We're like, also not going out like to dinner or like having like those kind of talks with like people ten years younger than us. You know what I mean? Like yeah, it's yeah. not it's not like we're gonna get manipulated by them or something. Like yeah 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 yeah. Yeah. So maybe that's it. Um, cynic says no holding back. Talking. Oh, we already talked about this kind of. Uh, I'll I'll say it if you guys have anything add to it. But if not, I'm gonna skip it. Uh, no holding back. Talk about the most annoying aspects of people in venues coming up to talk to you in depth. Maybe talk about some more wholesome experiences, any kind of social etiquette we should learn for appro- approaching our favorite players. Oh, come on. I, just we stop overthinking it, bro. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I feel like a lot of y'all overthinking it. Just stop overthinking it. Go up there. Tell them, you're, you know, hey, you're one of my favorite players. Hey, can I get a friendly at some point in time? If not, it's cool. Yeah, it's can I get an autograph? Simple. All right, dip. That's it. That's the end of the combo. Like, just don't overstay your welcome. That's dope. Let's go. Yeah. Um. Basically. Uh, also, if you want to get something from your favorite player, please don't go up to them after a loss. Like, just, I, I, I don't feel like I have to say that, but I feel like I do. Uh, Tito says, you can only watch one movie, play one game, and listen to one artist band for the rest of your life. Who are you picking? I, that's hard, dude. I don't know. Yeah, I can't do the movie. There's too many good movies that I'm thinking of right now. Uh, you only watch the, one movie for the rest of your movie, life. One, one movie, one movie, play one game, and one artist or like a band. Uh, movie, Major Pain. 
Good movie. Easily. Good uh, movie. Chuggy, Artist. chuggy, chuggy, chuggy. Oh, that's funny. Toot, toot, toot. Oh, TK, have you seen that movie? Yes, bro. I've seen it like seven it's times. That's a good ass movie. movie, bro. Fucking Ooh, Bam Bam Bigelow. That's a good movie. Right. I love that shit. Well, I got shot. Down remember down he's there. like, there's Boogie Monster just shot the closet. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> if he's still there, he ain't happy. <laughs> Major Payne just eliminated the boogeyman with extreme prejudice. <laughs> uh, that's a good move. That's a good move. Uh, band, it, all that shit's too hard because like I feel like I'm I'm almost forced to say Smash because it's like a culmination of games. But all that's gonna make me want to do is play, play every other game that games. I can't play anymore. So I'm like, damn, bro, it was mad fun playing Mario in this set. Oh, isn't there a new Galaxy out? Well, yeah, can't play that. Oh man, can't play. Oh damn. So, yeah, that's too fucking hard. Um, I, I guess for a band, I, I might be able to listen to Dance Gavin Dance for the rest of my fucking life, but that's about it. Uh, movie... Billy Madison. Uh, what? It's just fucking dumb, but that movie... I, it's, 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 it's very stupid, but that shit is funny to me. Maybe Total Recall. I fucking love Total Recall. Um... I w I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to say any Arnold Schwarzenegger 90s movie. Play one game, I don't know. Listen to one artist, Aesop Rock, probably, because he's a big discography. Maybe Mountain Goats, I don't know. Really? You like Aesop Rock? No. A Different Aesop guy. Aesop Rock. Aesop, like A A E S O P. Aesop, Aesop like the Fables oh, okay. guy. I right. But I a lot of people, I, I get a lot of people, and I've gotten that reaction more than once. They're like, Coney, you're, okay. you're into that guy? That. Like, Oh, yeah. yeah, Coney loves bad I bitches. Coney, I was like, you love bad bitches, bro? <laughs> Come on, you know, Coney. I love one bitches. He's beautiful. <laughs> My man Coney pretty flacco out of here, bro. <laughs> I love one bitches, and she's the light of my life. There you I go. hope she's not listening. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, bitches. All right, uh, Sid says... It's her. She's bitches. She's what? bitches. A lot of people in Smash... <laughs> bitches is the mother of my child. A lot of people in Smash Twitter and even at Locals, myself included, have hot takes on just about every aspect of the game. Do you think the majority of players put enough time and energy into learning the game that those opinions are justified? No, I think it's a regional thing. If you have a Ganondorf player that claps everybody's shit in North Dakota, you're going to grow up thinking Ganondorf is nice. That actually happened. If you guys remember the Ganon from Minnesota or Michigan... You remember that? There's like a 14 year old Ganon Rickles? player. No, it, it oh. was like a 14 year old Ganon player back when customs were on, and he was clapping oh, everybody. Yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember, I remember. I can't remember his name, but I know you're talking about. Yeah. We had a situation in MDVA where there was a local. Uh, uh, I, I'm not gonna name any names, but he he really hated the timer situation because he kept getting timed out. Now he kept getting timed out because he played a Mario Brothers character, which meant that he kept chasing people around and they kept running away from him because if you fight a Mario Brothers character, you lose. And he was playing very campy matchups, so don't get me wrong. It's not... But he got very, very, very mad. And it's like, that wasn't really happening anywhere else. You know what I mean? Like, it was happening, but not to that extent. Um, I think it's just a, a reflection of what's happening around you, you know? Um, that's... That's I, I I and I think that's what happens to most people, but that's just me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some top players, I feel like they make brash decisions too, off of like learning one thing about a character. Like I, I I still think back to the time when everyone thought Cloud was bad for like the first two weeks, uh, when he released because he couldn't do down throw to anything, and I was right. like, Are y'all fucking serious? Are y'all seeing the sword? Are y'all seeing the man's range? Have y'all not used this limit? Uh, and then look at that. Cloud was fucking top two in the game. Yeah. All right. That same shit happened with Ryu too, where people thought Ryu was bad for a little bit. Yeah. And uh, and then he popped off. And that's why I stopped listening to, to fucking uh, to fucking top players' opinions, but for the first uh, for like the first three weeks because they don't know what they're fucking talking about. Everyone wants to be the first to say that they were right, and so they will just jump out there and say something as quick as possible. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Notice me. Notice me. Sorry, yeah. And and like you could just throw all this all these shitty opinions out there, and if you're right, you like hit the, you you get the clout. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, I said this in 2016. I all called right. it okay. Uh, Ryu probably still not gonna win that, but I'm talking about four. Ryu was definitely yeah, still yeah, yeah. like, in four, everyone was talking about that character like he was mid tier, and he was definitely high tier for sure. Yeah. Anyway. Um, Poof says, what do you think about Dark Wizzy and other players not entering online tournaments? That's a good question. Do you guys have an opinion either way? 
No? I think it's perfectly fine. I mean, I feel like the the mindset behind it is okay. Well, we see a lot of our other fellow top players getting frustrated by this play, and uh, I, I think they're like we don't want to put a position ourselves in a position where we feel like offline we would never lose to this person. So why why risk it if we don't necessarily need to? Um, so I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think the mentality is just like my game is is good for offline. And I'm gonna keep it that way. Why why uh, put myself in jeopardy or be somebody he, else's? It's definitely. Coming, I don't know. It's people preserving the mental health for sure. Yeah, um, pride and stuff. I'm good. I'm not about to deal with none of this bullshit online, so we good. I uh, I I feel two ways about it. One is like you know players should be able to do what they want. Who cares? Blah blah. blah. But also like if you want to be on a team or if you're on a team, you better get like visible, bro. Like now's a really good time. If you can make it far in a tournament and you're streaming and you're like in the top four and you're gonna be at the top of that, that's like, come on, man. That why are you not doing that? You know what I mean? Mm. Um, that's that's such a good visibility for your brand, for your player brand, your team. Like, I don't think it matters much to Wizzy because he's doing MVG stuff, and I think MVG is focused on like content, especially on their YouTube. Yeah. But like, if you're a player and you're not doing this, you're kind of fucking up. I think personally. And, and if you're just a player and you don't care, that's fine. But I know a lot of players who are like, yo, it's my. It's my dream, man. I want to be TSM or 100 Thieves one day. It's a big deal. But I'm not playing it online because that's bullshit. Well, you can't have it both ways. So pick one or the other. That's sort of how I feel about it. But uh, Joey says, who smells the worst out of you three? Um, Right now, it's probably me. I, 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 I took a shower this smell. morning, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, I pretty much just, my hair smells amazing. My body smells amazing. It's probably you. All right, that's probably me. Sorry for answering that. I just uh, I got back from a run. I've stunk up a venue once or twice, so I, I used to come straight from the gym. So I'll say me, bro. I'll take the hit. It's fine. Uh, Jaden, if you had to pay for lessons from a top player, who would it be and why? Take into account their game knowledge, ability to communicate etc lessons are a scam but it seems like a fun question damn you really <laughs> snuck that in at the end he snuck that in because i was definitely about to say i'm not paying no one <laughs> but he, he i mean he answered the question for you i'm not paying no one bro like i don't a lot of, a lot of these top players were like when you ask them questions about like deep shit i, I just do it like that shit is so bro yeah, 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 yeah. that read was so crazy bro how did you know did you condition no i just kind of did it you know what i'm saying <laughs> i just like i thought he I might there. be over I, there <laughs> I felt like he was going to roll behind me, so I just kind of threw it behind me, and then he was there. Great name review, man. Fuck out. So I just, like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm if good. you do have to pick somebody, you got to pick somebody who's just going to, like, you got to pick somebody who loves to hear themselves talk, right? So mm. I think Dark Wizzy would be an excellent choice. He loves to hear you better play talk. Mario, bro. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, you got to understand you're locking yourself down to one character in that situation. Even, I think, uh, Esam, uh, to an extent, because Esam loves to hear himself talk, too, so, you know. But again, you know, you gotta kind of go with the loyalty that they have to their characters, and gotta understand that's who you're gonna be learning. Um, yeah, Zero's really good too. Obviously. Zero, I, I, this, it's, this wouldn't still count him as a top player. But, yeah, you know, this wouldn't be a good answer for me because we are totally different playstyle. But I feel like DeBuzz would be a really good teacher too. Yeah, DeBuzz would be excellent. Um, I don't think this lessons are a scam, by the way. I think top player lessons aren't necessarily good because they don't. I think it depends because. I see too many. I'm not gonna call anybody out, mm -hmm. but bro, I, if you're if you're not placing at least top sixteen at nationals mm -hmm. and, and regionals, I, I don't. You're not teaching nobody shit. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not teaching nobody shit. I've seen people, you know, sixty fifth or forty ninth offering lessons. I'm just like, no. Fifty dollar lessons though. No. Fifty dollars an hour. What's up? You, want, you know, no. You wanna. You know what? You know who's qualified to do that? I'll give them this. You wanna take that fifty dollars for a lesson? Go hit up Korean, okay? Because Korean at least. He has proven results behind helping people. Yeah. Okay. He knows what the fuck he's talking about. Zeke is apparently amazing too. Like Zeke has helped a lot of people, like like significantly apparently, and he has like a structure to his lessons. Um, yeah, yeah. In a way that a lot of uh, people have really commended. So. Apparently I Zeke's never great. Heard of that, so that's good. Yeah. Um, let me see. <laughs> Bert, I don't think. <laughs> Bert, like Bert Boxer says, ETA have won the Ronaldino thing. Ronaldino? Is that it? I don't know how to say it. Is overdone by the community. You know the soccer thing? Nobody's do gonna do it when we get out of here. It's a dumb meme. 
but I'm going to overdo it. So tomorrow, because I'm going to stream tomorrow and it's going to be annoying. Uh, what is it? Don't worry about it. Jay says, what does IBDW stand for? I actually don't know. I don't know. Uh, I mean, why wouldn't you just tweet that at him? Well, no, they said wrong answers only, so they wanted, like, a funny answer, but I actually oh. don't... I, I literally don't know, and anything that I said wouldn't be... Like, now I'm actually curious, you know? I'm not trying I mean, to be nah, funny. I don't want to I don't want to say it, because, like, IBDW, I feel like he might be sensitive, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. Thinking, like, like, what Farmer Stan LeBron was saying was what I was thinking, and and... But, like, I'm not trying to get that DM coming from me talking about something. Wow, bro, I can't believe you would say that on your show. Like, okay, I'm good. Yeah, I definitely get the sensitive vibe. I remember at, what was it, Big House? We were at that bar. Mm-hmm. And, uh... Oh, <laughs> yeah. You know, what I'm you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. All right, all right. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. That's not from last. <laughs> I want to hear this later. Some, I, did, my man just stormed, left. Did, he left for, 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 for reasons that he did not need to leave. It was more so just he was being a brat. So, anyway. That's that's my that's my guy. team's newest sign, bro. <laughs> so, I was just... I, I, yeah. I'd be doing work. He's not leaving, the, he's not leaving the team. Yeah. Uh, you... Air Marshall says, do you think age is a big factor in competitive games? There's a lot more young prodigies lately. Is it an age advantage or just more free time to practice? Could an older player be equal or better with the same amount of practice? It's a mix of things. We talk about this it's a lot. Uh, young young people have better reactions. So, you know, like that's just always going to be facts. You have more time to play. So yeah, A lot of it is practice, old, yeah. Uh, maybe, uh, Larry's 30. He seems, to have a, he still seems to have a pretty decent grip on, on things. But, yeah, I mean... I'm sure that his reaction time was a lot better when he was 18, 19. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's kind of just off now. So, uh, basically, when you get older, you start playing more off reads than anything else. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, sometimes you need that reaction. And, you're, you know, if your reaction is too late, then big rip. So, I don't know if it's technically, like, a super advantage, but it's definitely one thing that you have over us. Larry is close to 30. I don't know if he's actually he is 30, but I know he's, like, right next he's to He's probably us. 29. Yeah, yeah. Um... I mean, yeah, I, I, I think a, the biggest thing, honestly, is practice time. Because at a certain point, it's like, okay, am I going to keep practicing to keep up with children? Or am I going to experience life? Like, you got to kind of make a decision. Um, and there's nothing wrong if you want to experience life by competing with younger people. But it gets significantly harder. So, at a certain point, it's like, I don't know. It gets very difficult, so... Um, let me stream. Is 30 too old to get good at Smash as Honey? Yes, probably. You might be able to win locals depending on where you live, but yeah, this is like this is like your first your first game. Yeah, it's too late. For oh me. God, yeah. Hold on, yeah. If Ultimate's your first Smash game and you're 30, uh, try Valorant, man. It just came out. <laughs> Please, just damn. <laughs> uh. Tune for oh, if there's a soccer character in Smash to represent the N64 era, who would it be? Okay, I'm just gonna. I read it out loud. There you go. That's funny. Uh, does. Mm. Siren says, does having a fake persona as a streamer make for better content than if you were actually acting as your usual self? So do you want to be your real he, self or a doctor you... <laughs> disrespect? Wow, with that. That's messed up. What happened? What? Nothing. <laughs> Does having a fake persona as a streamer make for better content than if you were acting like your normal self? I mean, I think it's good to be able to ham it up and, and entertain people. I don't think mm. anybody wants to watch some boring ass dude. Ham it up, you well. know. Yeah. Mm. Ham it up. Mm -hmm. Having a good time. <laughs> yeah. It's content, baby. Yeah, it's content. Uh, I don't know. I guess it depends on your 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 real like self, like. What if Dr. Disrespect is actually just boring as fuck in real life, you know? Yeah. I don't know what well. he's like in real life, so... Yeah, his character needs to be on. But, I mean, if you're not, like, super boring in real life, or that's not the vibe that you're going for... I don't want to I don't want to play a character because I'm not always in the mood to be a character. Straight up. Uh, and then on top of that, I hate how people cannot disassociate a character from who you actually are, and that's fucking annoying as hell. Like, I don't want to be in a food court of some tournament, uh, and someone's like... Hey TK, can you do that thing? You know what I'm saying? Like that like my Say the funny TK quote crazy does. And like I don't want to do that. So I I'm good. I'm good on that. But uh if it works for you, it works for you. Not everyone's built like that. I'm not built like that. Um 
you know, so if, you know, if it works for you, it works for you. I think it really comes. It really depends on what what stream or what uh, vibe you're trying to make happen. I think it's. Uh, I think the best way to describe it is like on stream, you're yourself turned up to eleven. That's basically it, and like, mm -hmm. you just you you can be yourself without being inauthentic. I think that's basically it. Yeah, I agree. And I think a lot of people do it, like, subconsciously. You know what I mean? Because, like, it's not like it's not you. It's just you with with the saturation up, you know? Um, that's that's basically it. I, I think it's a normal... <laughs> I think it's a normal thing. But some people have, like, a, an entirely different character. So, like, Dr. Disrespect. Or, there aren't that many, actually. There are a lot of character... Uh, streamers but they're like not big time you know what i mean yeah, i can't really i feel like the only one i can think of outside of dr disrespect is future man i don't even know if he's still streaming mm. yeah yeah i haven't i haven't heard that name in a while so yeah all right uh blah, 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 blah. if you can make any ice cream flavor ben and jerry style what would you make i i don't know man that's dope <laughs> ben and jerry sucks that's dope i don't have to, dope. <laughs> I don't have to tell you bro uh Oh, here we go. Calcador. Shouts to Calcador. That's my boy. Do you believe online character bans are healthy for the scene during quarantine? I heard some tourney is banning Sonic or something. We discussed this briefly. No. Uh, don't ban anything. You, you, you chumps. Who cares? Don't take it so seriously. Should I pick up Ike? No. Unless you're a time no. traveler from 2018. Best quarantine meal that you've had? A sleeve of Ritz crackers. Uh... What's the best meal you've had? Yeah, I mean, was... we we still go out to get food. I keep we talking just, about it, so we just we just go, you know, we just go <laughs> and pick it up, it's, uh, fucking curbside shit. So we just had tacos last night. It took us about three hours to get them for some fucking reason, but hey, there we are, like getting those tacos. Yeah. Um, I went to the Amish market the other week. Had some old bay wings and a crab cake. It's pretty delicious. That was open. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Figured that would have been closed. Damn. Uh, who do you think will be in grand finals for Evo Online? Bro, I don't know. Good players. Would you rather be rich and angry or poor and happy? <laughs> this is a... This is a... That's an age-old question, bro. That's like a Sphinx question. Rich and angry. Mad I don't have more fucking money. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Munchlax, I want to get into commentary, but I stutter and trip over my words. Tip to get better at speaking clearly and not screwing up. Do you guys have anything? Seriously, do you guys have, like, a routine or anything that you've, like, practiced or... I still stutter. I... I don't... It sounds like you may be nervous, um, but that is not a question that we are, like, qualified to answer. You need to maybe find, like, a speech, like, coach, therapist, or something like that. Like that's, that's like above my like. Paper, you know <laughs> well, it depends. Like, All right, when you're talking about stuttering, you mean like dropping a, a like a phrase every once in a while? Or do you mean like, a, a seriously like debilitating? You can't get a sentence out. You know, that's the problem. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, are, are you shook, and that's why you can't get a reason out, or do you, have you stuttered throughout your entire life? Then yeah, you need to like go to as they are saying in the chat, a pathologist. I did not know that was the word, but yeah, like I still stutter. Like I mean, you can hear it. In the way that I speak now, and the only time I feel like I, even if, when I'm trying to think of a sentence, like throughout, either I'm gonna speak very, very slowly, or uh, it's just gonna sound unnatural. So I just kind of talk whatever comes to my mind, and if it gets, comes out, it comes out. Yeah, and at, at that point, as far as like commentary goes, you know, you're already kind of a little behind. Only because mm -hmm. if that's like a real like ailment or issue for you, that just kind of sucks because it's like such a high demanding. Uh, you know, thing to do. Yeah. Especially yeah, as bro. the levels increase. Yeah, but, bro. you know, best of luck to you, obviously. Yeah. Um, kind of like TK was saying, I, I stumble over my words a lot because I, I think faster than I talk. You know what I mean? And I'm like, I've got a phrase in mind and I'll, like, if the sentence is A, B, C, D, E, sometimes I'll do, like, A, C, D, B, E. It's like, that happens a lot, but the only thing you can do is practice a lot. You know? Um, talk more just in general uh try to do more commentary on on mics and stuff but like tk said if it's a serious problem you gotta like you got and that's and not, it's not that's not a commentary problem that's a, that's a, like a personal right. problem you need to 
you need to handle that. And just to be clear, when I say I, I think faster and I talk, it's not because I'm smart. Like, I think dumb shit a lot. It's just, it's going at rapid pace. It's a fucking, it's a gerbil just with a wheel. Um, who do you guys want as the arms rep? Any hopes play style wise? I don't know, bro. Fucking arms. Man, man, or man. Style, bro. Like, yeah, there you one go. Of them. There we go. There All right, go. I'm, I'm going to start filtering we answer, these. I feel like we answer that every week. We answer this every week. That's question. That's yeah. Question. Yeah, this is, uh, I'm going to start. I'll start uh, filtering through these a little bit more. Do you guys watch speed runs at all? Any game you would like to try to learn? You guys watch speed runs? Um, I mean, during you know AGDQ, I watch Simpai do yeah. um do uh, sun sunshine every now and then because I'm just sitting on her stream. But I don't think there's anything I would like want to learn. Uh, I would like to learn some speed running strats for like a regular run though, like. This part's boring. I'm a speed run through it. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. You do, like, a regular run and was like, all right, this part of the game is actually very boring, so I'm going to, like, glitch through it or some shit. That's about the worst. That's about the most I would want to, like, learn for speed running. Sure. Yeah. I've seen some neat exploits in, like, uh, for speed runs of uh, Breath of the Wild. I think that's probably the only thing that's really caught my eye. I'm not a big speed run guy, but I like that game a lot, so. Yeah. I, um... I only watch, I have it on in the background a lot. I think speedrunning is interesting, but I always get very, like, I can't, I don't watch them actively. Because I'm like, I, come on, I'm not going to watch that. Uh, Pebbles, do you think Anti is going to make a comeback and be a top 10 player next season? No. No. Um, he's good. But top 10? That's hard. I mean... Though. Anti is, I feel like he's not even focused on this shit anymore. Like, he, you know, he's still playing, but he, the the drive to b get amazing, I feel like it's not there with Anti. And, like, that's okay. He has other shit going for him, so it doesn't matter. But, yeah, I don't, nah, I don't see it. He's not really a player anymore, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely more of a content creator. I mean, he was, you know, he was dominant, godlike in both Brawl and Smash 4. And uh, in Ultimate, I, I just don't think he has the same drive, but he's still an excellent player. It's just like... Do I, I don't see him ever being a top 10 again because I don't think he cares about doing it. Right. You know? Yeah. Can't get it if you don't actively want to do it. You know? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But he, he'll get it. If he wants, he can get on the PGR. But you know, I don't see top 10. It's just too hard right now, man. It's just too hard. What are your favorite? Uh, Kaido says, what are your favorite rivalries in Smash Ultimate? I really like watching um, Tweak Leo sets a lot. Because I think there's a very, like, the, the narrative is baked in. <laughs> You've seen it so many times. Uh, Sam Sora Leo also. Um, I, like watching, I actually like watching Nairo Mars sets a I was, lot. Nairo Mars, that was the other one I was going to say. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, other than that, yeah, those, those are probably where I'm at right now. Yeah, any of those are good. Zachary Leo, that's a good one. Um, I'm going to say Sam Sora Meister, that's not fun to watch. <laughs> like, like... Some sort of just can't do it. Like, just yeah. every time you already know what's going to happen. That's just sad. Because, like, you're good enough to do it. You just won't. Um. All right. Uh. <laughs> Jaden says, me and this girl are ta talking seriously during quarantine. Any tips to not let the spark die since we can't see each other? We love lying now. You got any tips, fellas? Play Super Wait, Smash Brothers she, bro? Ultimate. That's what I need to know. Oh, that's like, true. Can y'all not see each other because, like, she stays away? Or, like, is she, like, a couple hours away and you just need a car? Like, you know what I mean? Like, all I'm saying is, ask this question in about two hours on Real Talk with TK Breezy. I have a better answer for you. How about that? There you go. Um, I suggest doing stuff that keeps you close. Like, I think one thing that's actually could be heavily underrated. Uh, get this thing called uh, Watch Party on Netflix. And you can just watch movies together at the same time, documentaries, have video call up in Discord. It's very relaxing. There you go. And, um, I'm not answering that. That's, you guys are weird. All right. Uh, I think we're, oh, here we go. This is a good, this is a good thing to end on because I think we're starting to, we're starting to thin out a little bit. So I'm going to end the stream on this next one. Inspired by Coney's recent tweet, what is your favorite Apex 2010 to 2015? It says Brawl Memory, but do you guys have anything that specifically, like, during that Apex time at Rutgers in New Jersey, do you guys have anything that, like, comes to mind in terms of... Honestly, nice? bro, just getting a fat sandwich, like, every day. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. 
The same which well, we could eat like that because we were young, so our metabolisms were OD. But mm-hmm. like, I can't probably can't do that shit no more. Getting a fat sandwich every day was was the highlight of my my apex. There was like there was real camaraderie back then. You know what I'm saying? Like I was nobody hanging out with a bunch of nobodies. It was a good time. You know? Yeah. Hmm. I would say when I first hand witnessed. I first had witnessed, I, I can't remember what Apex it was exactly, but uh, it was it was a cert- the certain TO of the event ushering and loading the Japanese players in the back of a U-Haul. Oh, you were there for that. And just yelling it. Because I was outside, like, hiding, um, and I just thought that was hilarious. I was like, what the fuck is going on over oh, there? Oh, uh, actually, now that I'm, well, I know they're talking about that, but now that I remember it, me and, uh, I, I remember, this has been a long time, so JG had like disappeared for a long time. And then he came back to like Apex 2015 or 14, one or the other, and we hotboxed my car, <laughs> me, him, and Vinny, and I think T.O. Joe. So that's also a, me- a memory, because when's the last time you've seen AJG ever since, bro? Like, <laughs> What's he doing now? I bet he's I don't know, now. bro. I could, I could tell you. So the last time I talked to uh, Kelvin, that's K-Sizzle, mm-hmm. he said uh, JG moved to Texas and unfriended everybody in Smith. Wow! <laughs> JG? Yeah. That's crazy. Okay, for anybody. More tourney fixes, man. Yeah, if anybody yeah. doesn't know, look up JG's tourney fix. You will see a lot of old videos of current top ultimate players at like the year at years 14, 15, like old ass videos, dude. And this guy yeah. used to have a tournament videos, which were like vlogs back in the bra- uh, brawl days. It was it's a different time, man. It was great. Definitely a different time. Also. Well, yeah. TK was talking about the fat sandwiches. You guys weren't around for that either. There was this, like, food truck, right? And they had subs. But the subs were, like, very unhealthy. You could get, yeah, like, bro. a you could get like a cheesesteak sub with, like, a chicken breast in it, mozzarella sticks full. And fries and, and shit, and, yeah. Entire onion rings. Like, it was just, you could literally just put whatever you want on it. It was a fucking... And, 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 to, and to full on gluten... Uh, gluten heavy bread. You know what I'm saying? Yep, <laughs> like, yep. We was in that bitch, bro, eating mad unhealthy. It was delicious. Mad yeah, nice. Yeah, Let me was. tell you, I had itis every day. I just be like, yep. yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take a nap real quick. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Dead. Gone. Not a good time. Yeah, I got the, uh, I think it was called the fat bitch, which was, uh, I think it was like, it was like steak. Yeah, they had was, a lot of names. Fat something. All yeah, fat, fat something. Bitch, fat oh, yeah, I re- all Zach, I remember you were like, you see this fat bitch? I was like, what? No, what did I do Because some chicken walked by. You're like, no, no, no. This- <laughs> did I really? Did I really? Did- That's kind of yeah. fucked up, Zach. Bitch, Come yeah. on. I don't think I would do that. That'd be very mean. Oh, that's funny. Uh, yeah, I got a, um, I-, I think it had like mozzarella sticks in it. And the mozzarella sticks were like the good kind. It was fucking tasty, bro. I think they, they- they're still around. If you're around Rutgers, in New Jersey, there's like a truck or something, so check them out. Anyway, that's going to be it for Blast Zone. Thank you guys very much for joining us. A uh, bit of a shorter show tonight, but, you know, that's fine. You don't always have something to talk about. This weekend, I don't know of anything going on. I know there are online events, but the I box. don't know. What is it? The Box. Oh, The Box is this weekend? Is it? Yeah, The Box and the Searat event. There's the Melee. Oh, my God. And the Melee uh, it, like charity event, and then the other boxes this weekend. Damn. Okay, my bad. I did not know it was this weekend. So the box is this weekend, uh, so definitely tune in. Uh, I, I think it's... I'm going to be doing it. I don't know if you guys are going to be... Uh, we're going to be doing it, maybe. Uh, so the box is happening this weekend. Definitely tune in. I hope you guys have a marvelous rest of your night. I'm actually, since it's kind of early, I think I'm going to do Factor Fiction. I'm going to do a quick okay, episode. For how long, though? I'm trying to, I'm trying to, get, that, uh, I'm trying to get that raid, bro. I'll give you the host. It's it's forty minutes. At nine, bro. At nine, bro. It's 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 about forty five minutes. So right, we're gonna do we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do fact. So maybe like nine fifteen. I'm gonna do fact or fiction because it's a shorter show and I got a little bit of time. So we're gonna do it. So anyway, uh, you guys want to plug your stuff first? Okay. Uh, this is it for you? Nine o'clock. This is for you. We will be so. doing uh, real talk with TK Breezy every Wednesday, guys. Uh, the, it's talk show day now, so I put all my talk shows on one day. We have hard reads, and then we real t- and then blast zone, and then real talk with TK Breezy. So come through, chat with me about ran- random ass shit. It's always nice to hear y'all talk uh, talk about you know what y'all want to talk about. People come through and ask questions. People come through with stories, all that good stuff. Other than that, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on uh, Twitch, TK Breezy. Follow me on Instagram and X, TK Breezy. I'm trying to get to 10K. I'm very close. 
Um, yeah. Yeah. There you go, Phil. Oh, yeah, you, you, you see the name Evisu on uh, all platforms, uh, YouTube especially, obviously Twitch. So, yeah, uh, hit us up, go to go play uh, Ace Attorney Phoenix, right? I think that's what it's called. So, like, around 11 p.m. Eastern time, I'm going to be doing that tonight. Mm. Uh, I like my Doki Doki run, so I'm going to try some more Japanese-type shit, you know what I'm saying? So, if you're free, come through, because we're reading this shit. How long is Doki Doki? It was. It took me eight hours. Eight hours? Yeah. Oh my god, because I've always like wanted to try it because I heard it's a fun like spectacle game, you know what I mean? Something like that, but like I didn't know it was It'll that break long. Break your heart. Oh really? That bad? It'll break your heart. It'll break your heart. Alright. I'll probably I'll I'll give it a try at some point. Uh thank you guys for tuning into Blast Zone. This is the end of the episode. We do this every single Wednesday. It's true. Every single Wednesday, right here at seven PM. But that's gonna be it for this show, fellas, for TK Breezy and for EE and myself, Coney. We're gonna say goodnight and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.